grammar lesson types of sentences what is a sentence a sentence may be defined as a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate and expresses a complete thought here is an example of a sentence the baby is smiling the baby is a subject is smiling is the predicate from the verb is to the remaining part of the sentence is the predicate so you see it is a group of word a sentence is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate it expresses a complete thought the baby is smiling yet another example of a sentence my pet is a koala so here my pet is the subject is a koala is the predicate you see here a sentence is a group of words that has a subject subject my pet and the predicate is a koala so this is a sentence it expresses a complete thought my pet is a koala let us learn about the four kinds of sentences declarative or you can also call it as an assertive sentence imperative exclamatory and interrogative so these are the four kinds of sentences that you are going to learn declarative or assertive imperative exclamatory and interrogative what is a declarative sentence a declarative sentence can also be called as an assertive sentence a declarative sentence is one which states or declares something or one that states a fact so declarative sentences state facts declarative sentences are also called as assertive sentences a declarative sentence can be affirmative or it can also be negative it will give a positive information or it can also give a negative information here is an example of a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence the students are playing basketball so this is a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence and it is giving us a positive information it is also affirmative so the students are playing basketball is a declarative sentence some more examples of declarative sentences or assertive sentences students study their lessons he is the owner of the lot where our house stands i am a teacher the sun rises in the east what is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence is one which expresses a request a command or an order Here is an example of an imperative sentence please give me a glass of water this is an imperative sentence an imperative sentence expresses a request a command or an order this sentence is a request please give me a glass of water an imperative sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a period so it begins with a capital letter and ends with a period or a full stop generally the subject is not mentioned and only the predicate is expressed like in this case the subject is not mentioned you have not put like uh, you or nina or nitin give me a glass of water you ha have not mentioned it only the predicate like this is the predicate give me a glass of water so only the predicate is expressed the subject is not mentioned another example could be uh, open the door close the door the subject is not mentioned only the predicate so open the door from open that is the predicate so this is an imperative sentence imperative sentence express a command a request or an order
some more examples of imperative sentences we know that imperative sentences express a request a command or an order they begin with capital letters and end with a period or a full stop the subject is not mentioned only the predicate is expressed See, look at the sentence go to school the subject is not there it's only from here go to school so this is the predicate please close the door it's an imperative sentence tell me who he is kindly lend me your book please call your sister so these are all examples of imperative sentences what is an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence is one which expresses a sudden or strong emotion or feeling such as happiness sadness anger surprise fear or excitement example of an exclamatory sentence help exclamation mark a house is on fire again exclamation mark so this is an exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence cannot be a single word if it's just a like help and an exclamation then it's an exclamatory word it's a word it usually begins with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation mark so this is the symbol of the exclamation mark you always begin with a capital letter all sentences begin with capital letter sometimes a period or a full stop is used to lessen the force of the exclamation sometimes over here it could be help exclamation our house is on fire full stop you could do that also but there will be an exclamation mark somewhere in the sentence only sometimes a full stop can be used to lessen the force of the exclamation we know exclamatory sentences express a sudden feeling or express an emotion emotion of happiness anger fear etc some more examples of exclamatory sentences what a good dinner that was exclamation mark so this is an exclamatory sentence oh exclamation mark my god full stop run for your life josh exclamation mark forgive me mother exclamation mark so this is an exclamatory sentence ah here comes his wife full stop so these are all examples of exclamatory sentences what is an interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence is one that asks a question example of an interrogative sentence do you know that man question mark so this is an interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence usually begins with an asking word or a question word with the first letter in capital you always begin the sentence with a capital and it always always ends with a question mark so an interrogative sentence ends with a question mark you begin with a asking word or a question word which will be in the capital letter and it ends with a question mark so that is an interrogative sentence some more examples of interrogative sentences do you know how to write a poem question mark did the child eat his dinner question mark why did you come late question mark have you received my gift question mark where do you live question mark so these are all examples of interrogative sentence we know an interrogative sentence ends with a question mark it begins with a question word or an asking word either it could be a yes no type of a question or a wh type of question like say for example this is a yes no type did the child eat his dinner you will answer it with a yes no type and with a wh it is your why where these are wh type even how is a wh type of a question like how are you so it's a wh type of a question how are you question mark so it is an interrogative sentence affirmative and negative sentences an affirmative sentence gives positive information or gives a positive idea examples of affirmative sentences you are a handsome young ma man begin your work quietly the rivers in india are always full does his mother go to work this is false so these are all affirmative sentence now over here this is a, an in 
interrogative sentence but it is affirmative it gives us a positive information there is no negative word negative words like no not never none these words do not appear in an affirmative sentence they give positive information therefore they are affirmative sentences negative sentences a negative sentence gives negative information it contains words of negation such as no not nothing none never or the short form n apostrophe t joined with the auxiliary verb don't mustn't can't etc so this is don't do is the auxiliary verb when you use n apostrophe t it becomes don't so this is also a word of negation then mustn't is also a word of negation can't is also a word of negation must is the auxiliary verb the helping verb when you use n apostrophe t that is it becomes a negative word then again c a n can is an auxiliary verb then it becomes can't so this is also a word of negation examples of negative sentences she is not an honest girl do not shout along the corridors or you could say don't shout along the corridors some rivers in india are not very deep isn't manoj's father a doctor you have used a i s n apostrophe t so isn't manoj's father a doctor it's a negative sentence but it also is a interrogative sentence haven't they seen a star this is also an interrogative sentence and it is a negative sentence also both affirmative and negative sentences state facts hence both are considered as assertive or declarative so affirmative and negative sentences also state facts they can also be assertive or declarative 